Hello everybody, Whip here and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video we are throwing things back to the original Destiny 2 meta. What was meta when the Die game first came egg. out. And I've got a couple weapons here that I'm going to be using that represent that. So let's take a trip down memory lane and look at what those weapons are. And for the strongest primaries in the game, they included scout rifles, auto rifles, submachine guns, and sidearms. And now we'll take a look at some of the examples of those. So first off, there's some trials weapons for you. There's the Adjudicator, a 600 RPM submachine gun that was incredible back in its day as well as the Prosecutor, which is a 450 RPM auto rifle. And each of these have slideways on them, which is really nice getting a bump to stability after sliding for a couple seconds. And it makes these weapons super stable and really comfortable to use, and they're just really beautiful guns. And so this combination was spectacular. The mid to close range was really good for you, and you were killing with very controllable weapons. Some other big standouts are the Antiope, which is also 600 RPM submachine gun, and then the Uriel's Gift, which is also a 450 RPM auto rifle. So those are very similar to the Trials weapons that I just talked about. Then there is also the Wardcliffe Coil was very meta even back then uh, when it first came out because power weapons included like shotguns, snipers, and rockets all the same, so why not use a super overpowered rocket in the Wardcliffe Coil? But you didn't always have that exotic slot freed up because Mida was absolutely incredible in the early parts of Destiny 2. So that's another weapon that we use in this video. And then finally, as I mentioned, sidearms are pretty good. The three round burst archetype and the last hope was an incredible one with really good range and stability. So that's another weapon that was prominent back then. And we're playing on the Warlock for this video because back in the day, Recovery was super tied to what class you were on, and it was really difficult to kind of change that. So Hunters had the most booty recovery in the game. They were pretty unplayable for that reason, especially early on. And Warlocks were the only ones with any decent recovery at all, so they were kind of the best option, and that's why I do have my recovery maxed out for this playstyle. Just because that's what it felt like, that Warlocks could actually recover in pretty good time, and then everyone else was kind of screwed. Especially because they also did have healing rifts. And probably the best subclass of the early game in Destiny 2 was the bottom tree for Stormcaller. And this gave you like Arc Souls, which were really great because there was so much emphasis on primary gunfights. And the Arc Souls would help you out in that. And then Rifts were pretty essential, so getting your Rift cooled down more with being around teammates helped a lot. And overall, this was just a great subclass for this time. And then also pulse nades were by far the best grenades in the game and they had those so I'm using those in this video and that's kind of the whole loadout and all the things that were pretty meta in Destiny 2 year 1 at least in the early parts of it when I actually played. And as far as how these weapons are feeling right now, most of them aren't that great. Uh, the Mida multi-tool is feeling pretty good right now, it's really popular, that's probably the main standout. And the Adjudicator and Antiope are probably the next best weapons. Uh, I had some duels with Recluse using each of these and they actually felt pretty fair. And they were certainly able to melt in close range. However, the 450 RPM auto rifles have an atrocious time to kill and they're really just not very good options in this game right now. However, they feel awesome to use, they just don't kill quick enough to be competitive at all, which is disappointing. And then the sidearm felt pretty decent, but wasn't anything special. And that's kind of how the weapons feel right now. And then Wardcliffe Coil, of course, is just still god tier. And yeah, without talking about it any longer, we're gonna get into the gameplay now. I have a couple highlights as well as a We Ran Out Metal Streak to show you, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and see you later. Kill the dude as the Nova, and get the hell out of there. Come on, it's still got- It said I misadventured! How? <laughs> There we go, baby. Now we got an arc soul. Got him with the sub. Outgun him quick. I feel surrounded right now. That bow guy just wants to ignore me completely. We're kind of slaying. 
Is this dude still down here or did he die? I think he died. I don't know where people are now. Waterfall. Go to the 10 kill streak. Let's go. Come on, grenade. Nice, we got him. We got two! That's the pulse nade of old right there. And now we need a backup. And now we got this cheese that's been OP since it's been in the game. Alright, we're gonna try to super once he pushes up here. We killed him out of super too, that's huge. We've got to be close to a wee round medals here. They have a war to dawn, which is really concerning. We got the wee ran! Oh my god! Even after he supered us. We got the Wii Round medals at the very last minute possible. That was super close. Kind of amazed he didn't kill us. Picking them off one by one. But we absolutely feasted. 37 kills with a 7.4 KD. Yeah. That was hot. I can't believe I lived there. My healing rift just saved the hell out of me. Take out another one. Now let's challenge this dude. Got him with the melee. Hey, we killed the greasy guy again. Oh, my nade ended up getting one there. Clutch. Someone's sneaking up behind us. Help out our teammate. There we go. Damn, he was one shot. They spawn someone behind me, God, why? Thank God he is an observant. God damn. Gilbert Arena said to Richard Jefferson, you have no social media following because you weren't that good. Jefferson replied, you're the only guy in this group without a ring. It's Gilbert, Matt Barnes, Paul Pierce, and Richard Jefferson. <laughs> that hurts. That's a nice double right there. And we ain't done yet. What was... What was he thinking? Oh my god. That sentinel is an absolute idiot. 